Good morning guys. My parents are here. I just picked them up from the airport yesterday and we are going to go on a road trip for the next few weeks with Gatsby of course up to Seattle. We're going to stop through Oregon. We're going to say goodbye to this apartment for a few episodes and don't worry I'll be vlogging the whole thing. I got everything packed up. Should get ready to go. I have my list of everything over here. Boxes of everything. Gatsby's so ready to go. And he's like what? What? We're gonna go. Are you ready to go on a road trip, Gatsby? Official road trip for corgis. Yeah. You're gonna have so much fun. I got everything in the trunk. He's so ready. <laughs> Filling up gas before we go. We're stuck in San Francisco traffic right now. Crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. Now we're in South Sudan. We made it to the fish restaurant, our favorite restaurant. There's no line. We're still looking. It's inside the restaurant. So we got crab roll, crab louis, and fish and chips there. So good. That sign says, please do not disturb the rip wrap. Are we going, Gatsby? Where are we going? Huh? Look at all the boats. I feel like they have a Chevron gas station right there on the water. Bro. They actually have like actual houses. Next up, we're driving over to Mendocino to check out that town. We're entering Mendocino Botanical Gardens. He's like, oh, what is this? I'm so ready for it. Let's go exploring. Look, bottle plants here. This is like Alice in Wonderland. Which way are we supposed to go? That way or this way? Gatsby says this way. And this botanical garden it has so many botanics. This is the most botanics I've ever had. Please stay on trail. <gasps> There's a snake. There is. It's right there. Where? Right here. See that brown thing? See? <gasps> <laughs> We're in Eden. That's why. That snake was Satan. We can't eat the apples in here. We're gonna go through the gate. Enter Jurassic Park. Dun 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 Welcome to Jurassic World. We can see all the dinosaurs. We spot one! G-Rex! He's right here! In his natural habitat. We must keep going. It's all mossy. Look at the trees. It's like we're in prehistoric times. We are looking for more dinosaurs. I see one! It's a corgi! The short legs! We captured a dinosaur. We're gonna take him home. Gatsby, come on! Na na na! Na na na! Corgrassic world! We can see the ocean. It's pretty scary. Na 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 It's the beach, Gatsby. The starships are gonna meant to fly. Yeah? Yeah? Wow. Corgis are meant to fly. <laughs> this doesn't look natural. We're going to a cliff house. Oh, look at this. Look, look outside. Yeah? Do you see all the waves? Look at this view. That's crazy. There's a dragon. Petting the dragon is allowed. You wanna pet the dragon? It's a dragon. It's a dragon. Gatsby and his dragon friend. This is where they bury all the pioneers. Yeah, Gatsby? We're entering vegetable garden here. Look, there's pumpkins here, Gatsby. Don't pee on the strawberries. People eat these. <laughs> the vegetables. It's kale. Gatsby loves kale. Gatsby, you want some water? Look, there's water here. The apple. The apple from Eden that we're not allowed to eat. I think I read that somewhere. Cilantro. So some people like cilantro and some people hate it so much. I looked it up. Apparently people who like cilantro, including me, can't actually smell one of the smells in cilantro that apparently smells really, really bad. People who hate it can smell that smell. You can see all the succulents. This is so succulent. Are you having a good time? I have a lot of deleted footage from a few vlogs ago, so don't worry, you'll get all of your cool segments. 
Sleepy Doggy. We're back on the road with Gatsby. Check it out, we can see the ocean there. It's getting colder and colder. You can see outside, look at the ocean. We're in this town of Mendocino. Let's go. We have a Lego sale. Gatsby's like, what, Legos? I'm just checking out all the stores in the place. Right now it's the off season, so it's like pretty dead. It's like nobody here. <laughs> So excited about Mendocino. We're in this organic food store and look what they have. Manhood herb tea for male sexual potency and stamina. Hair regeneration herb tea. Itch ease. All the herbs. Like a ghost town. Who is this doggy? Oh, it's a corgi. Hi. It's so old looking. <laughs> this place is so quaint. That's what you call old. Hi! Hi! Oh! Are you a corgi? Feels What's like we're that? in Lake Lacrimose. Did you guys read a series of unfortunate events? It was in the movie too. They're in that town. It's like dead by the ocean. That's what this ghost town reminds me of. It was called Damacle's Dock, I think. Where the Lacrimose leeches were. We are at this place for a snack here. We got chicken pot pie and fish tacos. Gatsby's here too. That's how we do when we go on trips, just eat. I guess I'm not gonna be going to the gym for a while. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of weight, which is kind of counterintuitive, but that's what happens when I don't work out. Look at that building, that's kind of weird. It's like a house from like a kid's story or something. It's for sale. Count Olaf's home. And that's where Meryl Streep is hiding, and Josephine. She suffered from phobia phobia, which is a fear of being afraid of being afraid. Don't touch any of the doorknobs, just push on the door. I'm afraid that one of the doorknobs will break into a million tiny pieces and one of them might hit my eye. Looking around. This goes to the center of the earth. That looks ominous. You can see the city of Mendocino there. We made it to the point, Corgi's Point. Yes, we made it to Corgi's Point, Gatsby. Just staring out at the ocean. I think our time in Mendocino is winding down. Oh, I'm exhausted. Sorry, the vlog is not going to be too interesting today because we're just driving and driving and driving and walking around and driving again. So we're back on the road again. Gatsby's hanging out here. Are you getting tired of driving? I certainly am. We're by the docks right now. Gonna eat some fish and chips because we're just eating all day long. Going on a food tour. <laughs> At least I'll get my five meals in today. Got some fish and chips by the dock. We're staying in this cottage right now on the way. The living room area, this is it. With beds in the nooks here. Gets me in this fireplace. It's so classy, look. I have a chandelier inside of my bed area. It's night already. And there's a hot tub here. The view of the ocean. Ah. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> Gatsby's eye already colored up on the bottom. It's all clear now. Oh, that's good. His eyeliner is back. <laughs> Hi, Gatsby. <laughs> He's waving. We're at this restaurant, Wildfish, and nobody is here. It's all empty. This is our smoked fish and beet salad here. I got my Ling cod here, which looks so good. And my mom got the rack of lamb. That dinner was so good! I'm gonna get ready to head to bed. But I thought that I would play for you, as I said, some deleted footage from previous vlogs a while ago. So enjoy that. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! Gatsby! Say good night! Good night! <laughs> Good night. Oh, is this heaven? Hey guys, I thought that I would try making another BuzzFeed dessert because you guys keep asking, please do some more BuzzFeed reviews. Right now, I will be making Nutella cinnamon rolls, which sounds really good. All you will need is a little bit of flour, Pillsbury crescent rolls, cinnamon and Nutella, and some dental floss to cut it up. Let's get started here. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350, dust off an area, dusting the 
pieces so that they won't stick. There we go. Got it. Here it is. So we're gonna unroll this. Like so. Then all we do is take the Nutella and spread it over. Next, we take cinnamon and we lightly dust it across the Nutella. Now we roll. You see me rolling. I hate him. Watch me crank that. Watch me roll. Next, you take dental floss and you want to chop this up into 12s. You can either use dental floss or a really, really, really sharp knife. When you cut it, you don't want it to smash. Oh, easy enough. Okay, there we go. These are all different sizes because I didn't plan. This one is like really tiny and this one's really huge. So, oh well. And then we just stick this in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Set a timer for 12 minutes. Okay, and surprisingly, it was very, very, very easy. It felt like one of the easiest things I've made so far. Time is up. Okay, so the small ones are really small. Let's try this big one here. It tastes really good. It's not that sweet because I didn't put that much Nutella. I think you can put a lot more. They also suggest you can put icing on it, but I don't really like icing. It's too sweet. A slight hint of cinnamon. It was like an adult cinnamon roll. This was super, super easy to make and it tastes pretty good. I would probably give it out of 10. My review would probably be a seven. It was. It was good. Anything with a crescent roll and with Nutella, of course, always tastes good. Mmm. -hmm. I thought that I would also share with you my closet tour of all my gym clothes since, since I actually collect gym clothes from all around the world. Let's take a look at what we got here. We have our strong lift wear clothes. I really, really like their stringer tanks over here. The cotton ones fit pretty much correct to size. I would say that these do run slightly larger. I tried getting a small and that one 